Hello guys. Now let's now discuss the micrometer with screw gauge. Now the diagram you can see before you is the micrometer screw gauge. Are you seeing that? Now let's also give another diagram of the micrometer with screw gauge. Now you can see that it has different parts. It has the anvil, the spindle, the sleeve, the circular scale, the frame, the timbo, the main scale, the log scale, and so on and so forth. Now let's now discuss three things to know about the micrometer screw gauge. Just we will talk about treaties in metal, treaties in vinyl wood caliber. What are the treaties? Number one, what are the bits? The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awake, everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons, you have access to your notes, you have access to your past questions, everything from the beginning to the end is directly in the LearnLift app for you. So all you have to do is just mark down to Play Store or App Store and download the LearnLift app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end. A quick one before we move. Let's get back to class. Enjoy. Your micrometer screen is used to measure the thickness and the thinness of an object. Thickness and the thinness of an object. And we give example which is constant jam question as well as your wire question. The question says that it is used to measure EG, the, da the diameter of a small bearing ball or single pendulum, you know pendulum ball, a small ball, and thickness of a paper. Number one, we said it's used to measure the word, the thickness or the thickness of an object. Give me an example of something like that. A small bearing ball or a pendulum ball and a piece of paper. If you want to check the thickness of a piece of paper, you use your word micrometer screw gauge. You want to check the thickness of the word a small pendulum ball or a small ball, you use your word your micrometer screw gauge. Number, number two, it has two scale. It has the main scale and the what you can call it the vinyl scale, you can call it the screw scale. So it has two scale, the main scale and the word the screw scale. We said it is used to measure the thickness of the thickness. For example, talk about your piece of paper and your bearing ball. It has two scale, the main scale and the what the linear scale. And number three, take note that it has a reading accuracy of what? 0 0.01 millimeter. In millimeter, it is two decimal place. In centimeter, it is 0 0.001 centimeter. In centimeter, it is three decimal place. Are you seeing that? Millimeter, mean decimal place? Two centimeter, it is what? Three decimal word, please. Don't confuse it with vinyl caliper. Vinyl caliper millimeter, it is one decimal. Centimeter, it is two decimal. Are you seeing that? Also forward for meter word. So what are the three things about micrometer screen? This is to measure thinness or the thickness. E.g. talk about the bulb. It has two scale, main scale, and the screw scale, or you can call it vinyl scale. Like that's a reading accuracy of 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.01 word centimeter. Do you understand? Now, they say you understand, and let's take jam pass question. 2009 question 2. The diameter of a small bearing, thickness of a piece of paper, diameter of a measuring cylinder, length of a piece of wire. Which of the following can be measured with a micrometer screen page? Let's just go do analysis. First of all, length of a wire is meter root, so this one is out. We want to talk about uh, diameter of a measuring cylinder, but I'm not trying to measure volume. Volume is measured. We measure the volume of a material. We talk to call your word measuring cylinder. Now, diameter of a small bearing ball, yes. Thickness of a piece of paper, yes. So, I and I, I. So, let's see which of these can be measured for micrometer screw gauge. Because small bearing ball, thickness, micrometer screw gauge. Thickness of a piece of paper, micrometer screw gauge. So, option A, say 1, 2, and 4. B, say 1 and 2. C, said about 2 and word 3. And D, talk about your word 3 and 4. Which become the answer? 1 and 2. Talk about that. Which is option what? Do you understand? Perusing. Making option B to become the one. That's everything about this. In our next class, I'm going to see you when we're going to talk about uh, measurement of uh, how to measure my printer speech and binacle. But for now, we are just based on this teaching. We'll go to past question as we move. See you in the next class. We have talked about uh, Vignac, uh, we'll talk about other measurement of lens. We'll talk about metal, vinyl caliber, micrometer speech. Next class will now go to measurement of mass and weight. I'll see you in that class. I see my own self, I hope you are enjoying the class. I'll see you. Bye.
Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the LearnLift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.